everybody, this is Praxis. I'm going to be down here for this video, and this is going to be the root cellar slash fallout shelter. Oh, I almost stabbed myself on that. Uh, it's, you know, it's still in the process of curing. It's been here for about 48 hours. Uh, river is just cut into the inside over there. Um, hey, River, is it warm in there still? Yes, it is. Yeah, it was really warm in here yesterday uh, because of the, the con actually, I can still kind of feel it. Because of the concrete curing, it creates a lot of heat. Uh, today it's a bit of a rainy day. Um, I, I, you know, I kind of wanted to do some carpentry out front, but because it's rainy, I figure it's just better to maybe knock off all these form pins. If you guys remember from the other videos, it's a couple of taps in one direction. Yeah, well, that one came off with one direction, and uh, you know, sometimes a couple of taps to the other direction. I want to do a pretty good job of cleaning these off because. I'm not going to be putting foam all over this thing. I want to. I want to get a lot of the cool from the ground into it. So uh, I'm going to just uh, clean these all off and then put a nice layer of the uh, the asphalt sealer on here. And uh, and then after that's all set, what I want to do is put a little bit of dirt on it and then I'm going to put a, a sheet of eight mil plastic over the whole thing. I also have some old rubber uh, uh, roof liners that I might use. But one, or, one thing or the other, I'm, I'm going to put like a big umbrella shroud over it to really try to keep the, uh, the moisture away from this thing. So if it, it's raining, it's shedding off to the sides. We are going to do a perimeter drain. I was thinking originally I did not want to do a perimeter drain around this thing, but uh, I'm thinking I, it would really be a good idea. And it's actually, it's, it's a fairly easy shot out through this back corner here to get out to daylight there. So as long as we don't have any gi like giant massive boulders or anything like that, I think I do want to do a perimeter drain and just, you know, be a little extra careful about this thing uh, draining. You'll see that there's a couple of holes here. In addition to the entrance, there is, uh, you know, these kind of holes here, here, and some over on this side. These up here are going to be air, uh, light tube holes where the light is going to come in. There's going to be a collector, a mirrored collector that's going to go down. I've got five of those around the periphery. and. Uh, then I've got uh, this over here. This is going to be a utility line from the house. Uh, it's a, a three inch line that's going to run over to here and uh, that's going to bring in uh, electricity from the house so I can have electricity in here. It's also going to bring in water. If uh, you know, For a root cellar you don't really need water in there but if it was ever used as a fallout shelter it would be really nice to be able to get water from the house uh, you know, flowing right in, in, in through that port there. At the very bottom over here you can see we have one more uh, port and that's going to be for bringing in fresh air and that's uh, uh, an asset whether or not it's used as a fallout shelter or as a Root cellar, you want to have a constant supply of fresh air so it doesn't turn into a mold factory in there. Um, so uh, I will give you guys a tour of the inside uh, next time. Uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll go inside and, and see what uh, you know, the space is like inside there. But for today, it's just a bunch of that. That's it. Thanks for watching.